The political playlists are a bunch of playlists that I guess political candidates have pulled together in terms of like, oh, these are my favorite songs. These songs pop off and go so hard for me in my campaign. Bam. Here we go. From Politico. All right. We asked the 2024 candidates to pick the songs that stir their souls. Uh, now, look, I, I'll, I'll admit I looked at this already. Um, not super closely, so there, there probably will still be some surprises to be seen here. Um, but, uh, you know, th- th- everyone you know and love who's uh, running for the presidency right now, they, they've, they've got some songs here. Let's, let's check it out. Chris Christie, the first one. Now, Chris Christie, he's an old school East Coast Jersey boy kind of guy. Of course, he's got some Springsteen and some Rolling Stones in there, some Aerosmith. He loves his rock music. He's got some Bon Jovi in there as well. Look at this guy. This guy's a fucking meatball right from the 70s and 80s. We got some Springsteen, Beatles, Rolling Stones. Again, uh, Aerosmith, Melon Camp. He's got Billy Joel in there too. This this is so stereotypically like, if you asked me what Chris Christie would put on a playlist, like I probably could have guessed over half of these artists. Although uh, he's got Coldplay in there and he likes a little Prince. He likes to go crazy. He likes to go crazy uh, to a little prince. Uh, He's got some uh, Ed Sheeran in there, too. Uh, Hey, Tiny Dancer, Elton John, who doesn't love that? Oh, And and he messes with some U2, too. Uh, And also, I can't really imagine Chris Christie vibing to Mr. Brightside (laughs) by the killers, and yet it is there. The last three picks, I think, are uh, are pretty... uh, stereotypical though again for you know kind of a 70s 80s rock guy you got eagles van halen tom petty how, how would you guys rate this playlist out of 10 out of 10 what what is, what is the playlist here it's it's not too bad it's not too bad there's only a couple cringe picks it is kind of limited and i think you know obvious and maybe stereotypical for him and his vibe but uh, not not too bad of a playlist we're getting sixes sevens fives yeah it's it's, it's okay i wish there was more variety here And maybe some bolder song picks, but the collection of artists here is not too bad. I'd say like a six or seven. All right. Now, next, we got Nikki Haley. Now, look, again, I've looked at this. I'll give you guys a bit of a heads up. Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley is a bit of an 80s girly. Okay. Nikki Haley is a bit of an 80s girly. Uh, She likes some Cheap Trick. She likes some Go-Go, some Def Leppard. Oh, she also likes Blondie. And freaking Darius Rucker. Of Hootie and the Blowfish, uh, Tubes, Banana Ranch. She, you know, she she loves the fun tracks. She loves the fun artists. Uh, she just loves a fun, silly, playful, good time. Uh, although she also puts on some uh, Cat Stevens as well. And uh, really surprising, Post Malone with Ozzy and Travis Scott. That's uh, that's that's kind of a mind blower. That that's like really the combo breaker in this playlist. Honestly, it's not Cat Stevens. It's the Post Malone with Ozzy and Travis Scott. Like, and, and that is one of the more interesting tracks off that Post record. So um, <laughs> uh, we also have Take Me to Church. She really kind of gets down with those big vocal, you know, gospel type anthems. We got some Dolly Parton, who doesn't love Jolene, uh, Luke Combs, Queen, Radio Gaga, uh, not not Bohemian Rhapsody, not, not the most obvious pick. Radio Gaga, it, it is a single. But it's more of a deeper cut from Queen. I respect it. Um, American we American Girl. We also have done more Tom Petty, of course. Uh, Nikki also vibes to Mr. Brightside. But for whatever reason, I could see that being more the case for her than Chris Christie. Uh, Journey, Send Her My Love, Dancing Queen, ABBA, Howard Jones, Def Leppard. There you go. That, that, that is the playlist. What, what are we rating the Nikki playlist? Yeah, Queen, Queen is a woke artist. Queen is too woke of an artist, honestly. Five, five seven. I, I'd, I'd probably rate this one a six, too. There were, there were some surprising picks in there, but I didn't necessarily like the surprises. But, uh, you know, again, a little more 80s, a little more fun, a little more silly, a little more tongue-in-cheek. But you got serious cuts in there, like <laughs> Take Me to Church and Jolie. <laughs> All right, now this one's interesting. Uh, we, got, we have Vivek. Vivek rhymes with cake. Vivek Ramaswamy. The, the man who uh, is is a, a total legend, wrapped M&M's, lose yourself, and then, you know, obviously uh, subsequently got a cease and desist off of it. Uh, he was only able to contribute eight songs. Don't know why, but, uh, you know, they, they just did eight. Uh, so it's kind of short here. Of course, we have lose, lose Yourself M&M. Of course, we have Lose Yourself M&M. You got, 
you got to have lose yourself Eminem in there. <coughs> um, just to prove how pretentious and how much of a finance bro he is, he threw Mozart in there. Uh, we also have some late era Fallout Boy. For whatever reason, he he just really loves that fucking late era Fallout Boy. Now uh, we also have Jolene by Dolly Parton. You know, again, great track. Uh, but we have not one but two Imagine Dragons songs. He couldn't just go with one Imagine Dragons song. He loves Imagine Dragons so much that he had to double up, sandwiching poor Dolly Parton, and. Uh, <laughs> And, and, and again, these are the artists that he, he picked the same artist two times among eight tracks. He only submitted eight. Some of these other people are, are submitting over a dozen. And he's like, yeah, you know what? Just eight. Two of them are Imagine Dragons, bitch. Two of them. Okay. All right. Two of them. A quarter of his playlist is uh, just, just Imagine Dragons, which is insane, which is insane. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, thank you very much. All caps to infinity. Appreciate the sub. Uh, if you guys uh, uh, sub today, I believe it's uh, September now, so the subs are uh, are cheaper. And uh, again, you can chat, you can um, get some emotes, and uh, support the stream. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. But yeah, I, I would I would give this playlist a, a three. This is a kind of sucky playlist. This playlist sucks. I mean, there are a few decent you know classics on here, but like, would I want to hear all these songs together? Th this playlist doesn't give me a vibe. This play, you know. Chris Christie's playlist had a bit of a vibe. Nikki Haley's playlist had a bit of, there was a vibe to it. There was an era to it. You know, there was, there was like a, a bit of um, consistency to it. This is just fucking a mess. This is Vivek. And, you know, and for a guy who considers himself to be like, you know, a libertarian rapper or whatever, like there's not a lot of rap on here. You're listening to fucking Ma Imagine Dragons, bro. But whatever. All right. Now, listen. Again, I already looked at this, so I'm going to say ahead of time. This is my favorite playlist so far. Will Hurd's playlist. I, politically, I don't know a lot about Will Hurd. Is, is he a Republican too? Is Will Hurd also a Republican? I, I don't know a lot about Will Hurd. Will Hurd. Oh, oh he's, he's a, yeah, he's a um, former CIA clandestine officer. So on and so forth. Okay, Texas 23rd. Okay, all right. He's a, he's a representative from Texas. Um, Will Hurd miraculously has the most based playlist on the entire page. Get ready to shit fucking bricks on this, okay? Get ready. All right, so we have Daft Punk, Jamiroquai, Award tour from a tribe called Quest, Digital Underground, Father MC, Easy E, Bone Thugs, Jodeci, uh, Matis Yahoo, we'll, we'll let that go. He's also down with some Demi Lovato, Taylor Swift, Destiny's Child, Buju Banton, The White Stripes, uh, Alex Claire, Hootie. He's got, hey, listen, I go blind is a great Hootie track. Um, ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals, I haven't really followed Jerry Reed. I mean, the first two tracks are. A little rough, but this playlist is mostly based, and there's a lot of good rap picks in this playlist. Like considering how much uh, Vivek likes to sell himself as like a rap guy, he can rhyme. He's this, he's that. Like Will Hurd actually has a lot of really good rap picks on his playlist. <laughs> um, it, it it is uh, the best playlist so far. Who's Hootie? Oh man, you're. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hootie and the Blowfish, man. One, one, one of the best radio bands of the 90s. Every time I look at you, I go blind. Every time I look at you, I go blind. Uh, that's, that's a good track. Hold me, hold me till I want to get higher and higher. A lot, a lot of good Hootie bangers from back in the 90s. Um... But still, uh, th this is this is the best playlist so far. I would give this at least a seven, at least a seven. It is kind of chaotic. There are a lot of left hooks in there. It's not the most consistent. Like you're, you're hearing a tribe called Quest and Demi Lovato in the same damn playlist. But uh, there's a lot of good, tasteful picks here. And uh, no, nobody else is picking better rap picks than this playlist right here. So kind of shout out to Will Hurd, even if his politics are trash. <laughs> All right, next. 
Uh, we, we, we have political thinker, commentator, also running to, uh, and total trash bag, Larry Elder. Uh, you know, he's, he's like Candace Owens before there was a Candace Owens. Um, now, Larry Elder's playlist I thought was really interesting because there's a lot of good artists. There's a lot of good picks. There's a lot of good songs in Larry Elder's playlist, but it's very funny because just like with Nikki Haley and Chris Christie, there's a vibe here. There's a consistency. And it's that his his playlist is as old and stale and dusty as his social politics. Let's take a look. Uh, we have The Temptations, my girl. Uh, we have Gladys Knight, Simon and Garfunkel, The Four Tops, uh, Brooke Benton, Temptations, Sam Cooke, Staple Singers, Aretha Franklin. Uh, the most contemporary artist he has on this list is fucking Boys to Men. <laughs> Twice. Uh, Beatles, Phil Collins, Cat Stevens, Jackie Wilson, Frank, Frankie Sinatra, Harold Melvin in the Blue Notes with Teddy Pendergrass, Otis Redding, Chubby Checker, Roy Orbison. Not bad picks. Not bad picks. I mean, just in terms of like songs and artists alone, I would give it a seven. But the thing is, if you've ever heard this guy speak or you've heard him make the case for pretty much anything, it's it's just funny that all of his views and all of his ideas... <laughs> Just basically come from the same era of culture that his favorite music does. <laughs> so <laughs> they're all good picks. It's it's just funny that it's so reflective of his of his worldview in a weird way. That's that's all that I'm saying. Uh, again, I think it is one of the more solid playlists. But um, uh, you know, it's 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 just funny how dated all of it is. M man cannot listen to anything past the year 1990. All right, uh, we have Asa Hutchinson over here, who also just came through with like with a, with a solid. With a solid tight eight. Uh, we have Levin Helm, John Oates, Johnny Cash. Um, also, for whatever reason, he gets down to Pink's Get the Party Started. <laughs> just, like, just like party anthem, man. Party anthem. Uh, Beatles, Garth Brooks, Neil Diamond, and Los Lobos. We uh, belong together. Um, yeah, just, just random pink. Just random pink combo breaker. Uh, thrown in there for whatever reason, but uh, but it's there, it's there. Uh, it's 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 a funny collection of tracks. It's a funny collection of tracks. All right, and and here's the last one. For whatever reason, Cornell West, like, really took a fucking L here and slumped, and just provided a four song playlist, just four. Like that's that's it, just four. Um, I I, I don't know what Cornell West was doing. I think he really had a chance to come through here and kill it. I think he probably has way better music taste than Chris Christie and Will Hurd. Um, and, and I think the four songs here like prove it, but we're only getting four. We're just getting four. Uh, we're getting Coltrane's a, a Love Supreme. We're getting The Caravan of Love, Isley Brothers. We're getting uh, Aretha Franklin, Respect, obvious pick, but still classic. And uh, we have Nina Simone. We have Nina Simone. Uh, uh, Damning Mississippi. On Mississippi, goddamn. Um, again, great picks, good picks. Just wish there were more. It's, it, it, you're right. It's classy. It's a classy four. He handed over a classy four, and uh, I can't hate him for it. I just wish there was more. Uh, but yeah, you know that's that that's 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 the playlists. That's the playlists. I mean, just in terms of like consistency and flawlessness, I have to give it to Cornell West. But again, I may have to give a bit more of a consistency prize to um, Larry Elder over here because he did go the distance in terms of the length of the playlist. And outside of that, like all around kind of best picks uh, across the board and most surprising, I, I, would, I would probably have to give to give to a Will Hurd over here. And meanwhile, the most piss poor playlist uh, on the entire page would, would have to go to my... My guy, uh, Vivek rhymes with cake, Ramaswamy. I know, no Pence, no Sanctimonious. I, I don't know where their playlists are. I, I don't think Ron DeSantis listens to music. I mean, have you seen that man? <laughs> He's so weird and awkward and disgusting and like uh, out of touch with humanity. I, I don't think that man puts on music and enjoys it. I, I, don't, think, uh, I don't think Ron DeSantis... Uh, listens to and enjoys music in the same way that normal human beings do. So, you know... Um